Hello everyone, welcome back to Flotsam. We are back in our loading colony, Survival on the Ocean. We have three people at the moment. Recently, we researched some mooring points and uh, some salvaging boats, which are gonna enable us to go on the ocean and find more drifters to live in our town. And uh, we are gonna go towards one of them at the moment. Uh, our colony is currently medium weight, which means it's gonna take even more fuel to get around. But we're looting a little bit in the ocean and getting some good plastic over here. We have two boats that can go over to this one. We're going to have skin deep looting ocean for a bit. And today, you guys, we are going to be naming some weird people. So I got a lot of requests from you guys. So we are going to start with naming some people. So this guy over here is going to be named Dragon. Here we go. Welcome to our town, Dragon. And uh, we're also going to name one of our boats that was requested as well. Which is going to be named Bismarck. Welcome, welcome our little boat. We use it to be a real, real big battleship. Uh, so, uh, let's see how we're doing. Uh, pretty okay. Water, we do have free water. We have eight in food. And let's see how much we have stored up in seaweed at the moment. Okay, we're very low in seaweed. We need to gather more of that to produce some more food, water and... That I think should be a little bit easier because we do have uh, a lot of dry wood, which means we can do a lot of firewood if we queue it up to be made. And we only have to have the generator. With the new update, we can have generators to keep producing for yourselves, so that's really, really handy and useful. So I'm gonna make quite a bit of firewood so we can make some more water and more things as well. For example, to make metal plates, you also do need firewood to work with that. And we might want to queue up to do a few plates to have them later on. Or we can save them. Let's save them for now, actually. Because maybe we need them for something else later. And another knight is coming to town, so... Let's maybe look into the research and see if we want to research something new. We could go for perhaps a fishing boat. A small boat used to catch fish. I feel like that would be a really good way for us to be able to get a little bit more of fish. Another building is currently being researched. Oh yeah, the Electro Crafter, we have that one to be researched. We may want to change the one person always prioritizes doing some research whenever we're going to do that, so... I could have this one on the second highest for Dragon as well. And we can have John and Bob along to have a little bit higher priority for research. It's not something we do very often, so I feel like it's pretty fine to have it here. Look at the beautiful lights. Just love the new graphics we got. It's not a huge change, but it still makes a big, big difference. And it's running so much better. And during the night, a campfire was spotted. A survivor need our help. A waypoint has been added to the compass. Let's check it out, guys. So, over here we have one. 1,900 away and 2,468. We have another drift far, far away. But we are going to head to the closest one, which is over there. And on the way there, we will be looting a few things and um, I'm just gonna make a little turn around here you see it takes up quite a lot of fuel uh, for the fire fuel to get around so the more you boat way the more it's gonna cost to go there I'm gonna go a little bit more here then we can reach both seaweed and we also have some wrecked cars on the rocks so let's look around here the wrecked cars on the rock here we have oh another generator guys electro scrap as well and dry wood so let's send one boat over to that one to do a little bit of looting for this one. And then we do have some seaweed far, far away over here. That's going to be able to get us some good food uh, before we reach where we need to go. Uh, but we really, like I said, we really need to get like more people. We need to have like at least one or two more drifters. Because then we can keep producing while we're also looting things. So that's going to be very, very handy. Actually, guys, this isn't, um, this is research and this one is salvaging stuff around boys. Okay. Researching duties, salvaging stuff around boys. Maybe this one is when you're swimming. I'm not entirely sure this thing. But what we need to do is to add it here instead, and then we can decrease these. Be like that. It is probably related to jumping into the water and gathering, and this one is where you go around with boats. I'm guessing that it is that way. <clears throat> but it's, it is indeed very confusing. 
I was expecting the light bulb to actually be research. Because we have a big, big light bulb on the research building over here. So I thought that was kind of connected, I guess. Yeah, but that uh, will explain why we weren't researching the things we clicked the research. So now we can research to do a fishing boat. Or we can uh, learn some better ways to generate power. For example, we have the, the wood generator. I, will, I feel like I want to try this one out. Solar panel can also be pretty fun. Probably very useful for like a small colony. Uh, do we have any solar panels? We don't have any at the moment. But for now, let's go for a wood generator. And I do think we can probably... Okay, we do need to even have a generator to build it. Okay. So you pretty much just load it with firewood and uh, then it keeps running for you. So you don't have to beat her at all. So that's pretty cool. So let's see the cars there. That one will be really good to clean out. There's a little bit of dry wood over there. And we can increase to go with two boats. I do however feel like we really just need to get towards where the new person is. So let's see how far we can go. There are two islands here we can land very close by to. And we can still go next to that one later. And pollute the wood in both of those. Another one, so a lot of dry wood, let's see. Got some dry wood, 16 of that one. Same that one, and there's a big, big landmark far, far away. Oh wow, we're actually out of power. That's not very good, right? I might want to do another manual power generator. Yes, we can use them both at the same time, so we don't have to have one person working on this one. Because I think we can just do two of these, and they should be generating more power than uh, your main boat do. Let's queue up to do a little bit of planks. At the moment, we're kind of losing energy at the same pace as regenerating it, it seems. Because we're researching. Now we should be getting some energy up. Not very fast, but we're getting some. But now we can actually do the wood generators. So I might want to try to do this one. We need uh, six planks for that one. There's going to be six planks and we need some floaters. We already have those queued up. So that's going to be getting crafted as well. Uh, but we may want to send one boat over there to salvage that island. Because we're going to need even more dry wood if we're going to keep making firewood. To put in the firewood uh, generator, right? And then we can send another boat to this one. We can you set that to go to later on? Yes, we might get it a bit faster. But these guys are pretty much busy all the time with this. And what we could do if we want to not gather any for now would be to just disable this one for a little bit. But I think this one is also taking a, a bit so they also are consuming it. Um, but I do wonder, I don't think this one actually does anything if I disable that thing. I don't think that really makes a difference. Because we're not using it. The looted wood has been fully salvaged. Very nice. These trees seem to be withered from the water contamination. We should replant these. I really kind of wish we could. Imagine if we can plant some trees here. That would be awesome. I think there's a survival game if it's um raft that allows you to plant some trees. There's some game that allowed to do that. Running real low on some water and food as well. Uh, we do have full on the meters here though, so we will be safe for a few days anyway. Uh, but um, I think this one's gonna be really, really useful to get. It's gonna be real handy. Real handy dandy. And now they're loading that one, and it's gonna keep producing for us. Uh, let's check our priorities. I wonder if I should maybe... I'm gonna remove every priority here just for a while. I uh, might keep these two. Or maybe we we'll, let's lower it. Just to make sure we are... They do the things that they might be doing first. The AI have the thing for themselves for a bit. Okay, we can do the wood generator, guys. Ooh, look at that one. That's a big one. 
So this is hopefully gonna help with producing enough power so we don't have to be biking as much, but we will be using some firewood instead for making it run. It's gonna be interesting to see how much power it gives. It's 0.5, so 0.2 more than that one, and we don't have to have anything like sitting on it for it to be working. So that's pretty good. And if they use both these at the same time, or even that one at the same time freedom, then we're gonna be generating power really, really quickly compared to before. But I do think the next one we're going to research is going to be our fishing boat. That's going to be the next one that we're going to be doing. Uh, let's queue up now to do a little bit of firewood. Because we are going to need loads of that. We might even have it on out to queue for a while. And there we go guys, look at that. We got our wood generator put up there. So we need to connect this as well. We're going to use this one, connect to that one, and there we go. Now we should be able to generate some power and uh, we can see maximum inventory of firewood, I'm guessing. So we can have a half or full. Let's have it half to begin with, just like it said, and see how that works. Maybe we can have one that focuses a little bit on hauling again to ensure we always fill those up. And let's do that for all freedom just for now for a little bit. Because that will ensure that the these gets full, alright? And it's burning through the wood quite fast, I gotta say. Pretty, pretty fast. Uh, but that means we should be able to move our boats a little bit more. So we're gonna go towards the destination and uh, see how close we can get. Do we have another landmark? I'm gonna turn the boat slightly. And we're gonna gather from both of these landmarks. Might even get a little bit of wet wood in water there as well. Look at the smoke coming up, it's looking pretty beautiful. So, send some boats to that one. And uh, plastic, we're really low in plastic, so we might want to gather a little bit more plastic again. And then we have uh, some uh, polluted woods right next to us. Day 12 report, water is going up again, so that is good. Um, food has gone down, so we are not going to have enough food for tomorrow. Okay, so not everyone got food today. Sad times, right? So, uh, let's see if we can get some looting done. And then uh, we're gonna change their priority again. So once again, I'm changing a few things. So I'm gonna have two people that prioritize going to landmarks, and I'm gonna leave it at that for now. And uh, that's gonna be about it for now. So we ensure that we have at least two of them going to the landmarks directly. And it do look like we're generating some good power now without anyone sitting on that one, so that is really nice. However, this guy seems to like to use this one. I wonder if that produces more power than perhaps this one. Doesn't say anything for the boat though. But now we are in deep need of getting some fish. We can get some good food. We are getting some food here though, so I guess we will be fine for, for a little bit. And I'm looking forward so much to save this. So we have a fourth drifter. It's gonna be super useful to have another one. I might want to make another mooring point. We are probably gonna need that, so... Uh, let's maybe have it right next to the desalinator here. And, and I might do a fishing boat here, or I will do a salvage boat first and later a fishing boat. But I see we need some planks for that, so I'm gonna change up this queue a little bit and we're gonna add in to be, do a bunch of planks and then later we can do firewood again and uh, this one we can keep as it is for now. Check down, fully salvage. Beautiful landmarks, fully salvage. It's really overflown here. A lot of these houses are underwater. All belongings running around hauling things. That's good to see. It's been a good, good boy for a town. It's probably quite good later on to have like one or two drifters at least that are prioritizing only going around doing those things. And we might also have like an uh, priority there for Bob along as well, so we will... Uh, maybe not crafting, but um, I was gonna go for building this one. So he will focus a little bit on the building side, a little bit more. Check down for the sandwich as well, that is good. That means we have some food now. And some water. That is nice. 
So to do this one, we just need a few more floaters. I'm going to let them gather a little bit of the uh, beautiful floating plastic treasure out here. That's going to be good for us. I wonder how it works here. Battery holder. Let's see how this one is doing. So this one is still working even though I think we have full power. I wonder if that is currently just wasting fuel. Yeah, it sort of feels like it. So we may as well have turned off for now so we're not consu consuming any wasting firewood for now. Uh, but uh, let's keep going. There's the islands really close. We could make a stop there, but I'm gonna go... Let's land around here, then we can go back and loot a little bit over there. 81 in fuel. Loon Island, we're coming to save you, whoever you are. You're gonna be saved, and we're gonna name you as well when we get there. So guys, if you have names suggestions, as always, feel free to drop them. This is the person that's living in this town. I'm gonna take one of our current name suggestions and add to the game. So this one have Aurora Costner living here. That is based on the last name of the guy in Waterworld, I think. I think so, isn't it? Maybe I might remember it wrong. Pre-flood was a card stacker, later became a castaway. Did you know what you can make a house of cards that is 78 stories at all? Yeah, they don't know either. Didn't stop them from trying though. That's really tall. That skill. Later became a castaway, stranded on a small in hospital island in the early days of the flood. This drift eventually found their way back to the humanity. However, freedom came at the cost. The loss of their round ball shaped friend. Oh no. Oh no. So let's save. Aurora. And let's see who's going to be named in the game as well. So the name we're going to go over today is going to be Abigail. Welcome, welcome Abigail to the town when we decide to go over to save you. It looks like we have someone coming over. It is Jan coming over to save Abigail. Our card stacker. But you're going to not be alone. You're not going to be a castaway. You're going to live in our town nowadays. Dimgo, welcome, welcome. So you have really high construction skills, that's good. Crafting 5 and 5 in cooking, that's some good stuff. Welcome, welcome, Abigail. Hope you're gonna have a good, good time in Aulu Bentonian Town. So that is really nice. I might wanna reprioritize a few things, perhaps, so Abigail can help a little bit with building. And uh, looks like she's pretty good with crafting things, so we might have her do that. But I'm only I'm going to have building there as a priority for now. So let's see for the research, if we can make the fishing boat. And we need some more floaters. So maybe we do an little salvage boat first. I think we're going to do that. We have some uh, plastic flotsam all the way over there. And then we have some seaweed over there. It, it, it does show this icon, so I'm guessing that is for boats. It's not very uh, good explained, I gotta say. So if I put one out, let's see where we can swim. Do we have a thing nearby? It has the same icon though, so it's kind of confusing with the priority. Your night, a campfire was spotted us. If I might need our help, a waypoint is shown on the compass. So we're gonna check that out soon. But it should be this one. I'm not entirely sure what this one is at all, actually. It might be a different boy or something. Or this when you swim. I, I actually don't know. Uh, but we might want to have some people that prioritize that a little bit more, I guess. So perhaps we can have um, Abigail. But let's have Jan and Dragon since you're already kind of doing that, right? Then we can change this perhaps like that instead. That should be pretty good. They will prefer going to landmarks, but they will also have the second highest on going to salvaging around boys. And we might just want to change this as well here. Since I don't know which one is which one. But this one say run speed and swim speed, so I'm guessing that is related to swimming. Which is a thing we don't really do anymore. 
So food is going down, the energy is going down a tiny bit as well. Uh, let's start this one again. We can generate some new power so we can get around later on. But I gotta say, it's quite a lot harder now with this weight system and everything. But I really, really like it because it was too easy before. So I feel like it's way better than what it used to be. What do you guys think? Isn't it better uh, with a little bit of a challenge? I think so, at least. Uh, but I do think we deeply need that fishing boat. We could make some seaweed salad though, so I guess we're fine for a bit. Um, we could also start to plant some to grow some seaweed. That's another way we can do it. But we need, we need to get some more metal scrap. We can do a few more of those. They only cost five, so we do need to make one more. Five, there we go. Then we need the floaters and rope we already have. So now we have almost full fuel. So towards this direction, 2700, and there's someone. And 1900, and there's another one as well. But during, to this side, there's also 850 or something. Shack Town, I don't think there's anyone there. I'm gonna go there. I don't think it's gonna be anyone. But it's kind of interesting that it showed that location for us anyway. Maybe that means something. That is maybe not the normal Shack Town. Ooh, that's a seaweed. Let's move the boat a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Looks like we have some good stuff. So, check town we have over here. We can food, thank you, I take that for sure. It's gonna be deep, deep needed, and uh, the more plastic we get, so we can make some more floaters, some more seaweed over there, and uh, some wet wood as well, and some more. Plastic, why not? And then now we can make another salvage boat. I think we can have a third one. It might be pretty good. And then later we're gonna get another one. That's gonna be for fishing. Oh yeah, we need to make another house. Abigail need her home as well. And we could go inside and research house. That could be a pretty good thing. Oh yeah, let's do one of those. That's gonna be good. Pretty cheap to upgrade. That means we can take one of our current beds here and make that bigger, better house. So two people can be sleeping there. I don't think they sleep faster. I think that was a thing in the past, but I don't think that makes a difference anymore. It's just having more people in the same amount of space, which is a really good thing in the end. So another more in point, over here. Maybe we should have it a bit of a distance. I'm just thinking that we could put in some storage in between there. Yeah, but let's have it here for now, we can move it later on. We can always distract and rebuild. Really sad village, all the checked home has been looted, Ding. a lot of goodies from our town. Hello, Bar. Hello, Dragon. How are you doing? So, looks like power is pretty low for now. Looks like we don't really have any firewood. We're consuming uh, wet wood at a fast, fast pace at the moment. And I'm kind of, maybe not now, but I'm considering disabling this thing. Any daily grid is not operating at 100% efficiency. I'm just thinking of disabling this one because then we can do some other things like going to bed, for example. Uh, but we were using a lot of energy right now was because uh, we were using the research. It requires quite a lot of energy. Another survivor might be nearby. 3000, that's very far away. Very, very far. So water is getting quite low now. That's not good. I do think we might want to research a desalinator upgraded variant because it feels like we need to be able to produce water a little bit quicker. Yeah, but at the moment we also need to gather things. So there's a lot of things going on everywhere at the moment, kind of.
And let's change the firewood so we can keep a little bit more, I guess. I wonder why they're not going out on the water. Because they have a high priority for salvaging things and going to landmarks than hauling things, which is kind of weird why they're just running around. We want to have Jan. He's biking for some reason. Dragon is here as well. That's a little bit weird, right? I'm just going to do that to hope that someone else goes there and then instead, I guess. Because if we don't have someone going out to the ocean, we kind of get stuck and eventually we're going to end up being out of resources, pretty much. But water and food is pretty stable. It's mostly our energy, which is not very good at fuel. So I think it's going to get better. We just have to do a little bit of looting around. It take a little bit longer now that we are boating around to gather the things, but since with the new fuel system, we don't want to move our hometown as much. Because nowadays it's not worth to do so. In the past it was uh, very worth to do. So I think this is a great upgrade. It makes these fields even more useful, I would say. Did we get some beautiful wet wood? That's going to come in real, real handy. That's running real low, both on wood and plastic. Real low on both at the moment. Everything is sort of low, except for we have quite a bit of food at the moment. It kind of feels like we might even need one more drifter. And I may want to build like a normal bed for Abigail. I may want to do that. We're not going to get the research done soon. But what we could do is just to have one person. Let's have Abigail. She can prioritize and doing some research. So that's going to be her, her top prior things to do. After she's been out in the ocean and gathering a little bit of more beautiful treasure around. What did she even paddle with? Uh, is that a sign or something? Kinda looks like it. Okay, now we're gonna get some research done. I should be pretty quick to research as well. Then we need some rope and planks to upgrade one of our beds. And uh, let's queue up to do a little bit more ropes and uh, then we can do some planks as well. So let's queue up to do like five and then out to queue from five wood again. I wonder if it's maybe worth to destruct this to use a tiny bit more, a uh, tiny bit less fuel. I'm actually gonna do that for now because it should be fine to destruct that one and maybe it will drag a tiny 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 bit more less fuel from us. So I feel like we're kind of in a dire situation in a way and um, I wonder if it's more worth to have the generator here. I don't actually think so though. Because then we're going to consume firewood too fast. Okay, so now we could uh, at least do a bed. Let's just do a standard bed. Without an upgrades or anything. So we do have a little bit of fuel. I think we may want to move the boat kind of soon. And this one only have a tiny bit of a plastic left over in this one. Then that boy will be looted and the one over here just got fully looted. So I feel like it's time to move uh, away from here when they are arriving back in town. I wonder if we may want to have like another woodwork shed, but at the same time we actually don't have the fuel so it wouldn't really matter. Because we don't have enough uh, wood to produce the fuel. So we wouldn't be able to make any more firewood anyway so... I think we're just going to wait and see if we can gather more, pretty much. And maybe this one is currently taking too much. Maybe the firewood here at the moment and this one is not the best thing to do. May, may want to do like another manual power generator, I guess. 
Yeah, let's queue up to do a few more of those. Out the queues on firewood again. Then maybe we can have two people biking on them for a bit and uh, not have this one waste too much fuel. We could perhaps uh, decrease the amount of fuel we let be inside this one though. Maybe that will make a difference. We can try it for a bit. Uh, but let's see, it's time to move on to new grounds. Over here we have a lot of seaweed. I think that should be pretty good to go towards. Got some nearby plastic as well. Got some wet wood over there. Got some cars wrecked on the island over there. So let's start with getting a little bit of seaweed in that one. A little bit of plastic on this one, really close by. And we have some fish right under us. They're kind of jumping up in the colony as well. Jumping into our boats almost. And we also have seaweed covered rocks, so we should be pretty set with food at least. So water is more the problem at the moment, and the fuel as well. But over here we have wrecked cars on the rocks, so this one has some cars sitting here, and we can gather some battery, that's gonna be useful. That will be some energy for us. So let's have a free boats able to go to this one. This should be good, some good wood as well. Look at this city under, under here, that's looking pretty beautiful. And these big bees are yeah, swimming through it. But I think it's gonna go a bit better. Uh, but yeah, we did uh, check out the wood generator and uh, I might not use it for a while. I will have to see if it's worth or if I can supply the amount of wood for it for now. But guys, thanks for checking out today's episode of Flotsam. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Drop some name requests for new drifters or boats that I can name in the game, and I'll see you guys soon. So thanks for watching, hope you had a good, good time, and see you next time. Take care everybody, have a good one.